Hello everyone, welcome to Sources Classes. So in this video, we'll talk about the ASET preparation plans as in how to prepare for the upcoming ASET examination. As you know, the dates have been announced and the examination is upon us. So it's due to take place in, in just a few days from, from me recording this video. So we'll just talk about the last leg of preparation on which uh, areas to lay our emphasis on and which area to focus on. So we'll get on with that. But before that, let's just, uh, let me just brief you out into the important dates with regards to the examinations in general. Okay, so uh, here we see uh, this is a uh, February 2020. So we know this examination is already done with. So we are not concerned with this, but this is what we know. We know this is about A set October examination. Okay, so it is about that. We know the registration started on 13th of March. It closed on 30th of June. The examination was uh, due to take place maybe in the month of August, but it got delayed due to the current pandemic in place. Now the examination is scheduled to take place on 10th of October 2020, time from 10 am to 1 pm. This is basically the morning slot. Okay, so the three hour examination is due to take place this and the date of result and the last date for student membership hasn't been announced yet. Okay, to be announced. So this was all about the date and all. So with all that said, let's just uh, take a uh, look at the brief overview about the examination pattern and the subjects involved. So, as you know, it's a three hours examination. Uh, it's a uh, CBT based examination, computer based test. Okay. Uh, conducted by, you know, AI, AI. So, we all know that. So, total marks will be 100, total number of questions 70. And if we look at the distribution of marks on the same, so we have 45 questions of one mark each, 20 questions of two mark each, and five questions of three mark each. So, if we just combine the same so this will be 45 marks this will be 40 marks and this is 50 marks so total we have our 100 marks in here and now if you look at the subject wise distribution then what we have here is that so for maths we have 30 marks for stats we have 30 marks in di or the data interpretation and logical reasoning uh, 15 and 10 each and english we have 15 marks so total 100 marks one good thing no negative marking so you can maximize your attempt by attempting all the questions. So this is all about the examination pattern and the number of subjects in this regards. So now let's basically jump onto the crux of the video as in the basic strategy, how to go about with the preparation in general. Okay. So if we go about the same, the overview of the examination is divided into five parts and each part has its fair share in the examination. Okay. As we have already discussed. And the cutoff for this examination basically lies in the range of 55 to 60. So more or less a comprehensive approach is what is required in this regards. So with respect to the proportion requirement of the sequence of studying can be divided into following ways. Okay. So based on mark distribution, we can actually follow this thing up. So the sequence could probably be maths. We must give first preference because maximum number of marks and more complexity followed by logical reasoning okay then we can focus on stats di and finally we can work on our english because only 15 questions are what we have to focus on so i would prefer the studying or the preparation technique in this way first i'll try and cover all the major portion of the syllabus or the examination and then subsequently now section from where most of the questions from uh, subject wise can be given in the following way for maths we have seen maximum question from the calculus part that is differentiation integration the algebra and graph based problems okay if we took a uh, take a look at the stats so we have dispersion correlation regression probability and distribution so this is the majority of the area but we see most of the questions logical reasoning again basic topics like the date problem based on calendars or dates or some sort blood relation make sure you practice that number series number series would include missing number wrong number and maybe sequences something on those laws and analogies okay logical reasoning analogies di again basic your line chart bar chart pie chart application maybe a few applications or radar chart you may also see that those and also english basically your grammar for mistake finding opposites uh, meaning opposite basically your uh, verbal ability and these things are basically asked okay so this was all about the syllabus so you can actually directly focus on all these topics now if we talk about the preparation specification in this regard for uh, preparation what we can do is we can start with logical reasoning okay 
work on the common and the most repeated areas in the beginning and later move to the advanced section like uh, date problem faulty clocks and family tree okay we can work with that first we can just work on the basic error question you can find the previous papers so the sample papers as such in the website of aia only so you can get a plenty of details in the class then if you talk about mathematics in general we can start off with the basics of algebra okay your 10 plus 2 level basics of algebra and then we can go with the differential calculus and then we can advance uh, work out work our way to the advanced calculus and adverse application as well numerical analysis plays a crucial role so this particular in the entire examination so you need to be extra careful for that then work on statistics and uh, data interpretation simultaneously as they are related and most of the topics in the two sections are common okay because the stats will also include a lot of applications of di in general so various bars and charts you will see so di is nothing but in, uh, numerical application of statistics okay so this is what we need to keep in mind so if you prepare for stats properly uh, so um, a lot of help would be you know you will get a lot of help with regards to your di preparations as well so this needs to be kept in mind as well later at the end work on work with english okay in english grammar page plays the most important role in the examination again the main emphasis is on grammar let me just highlight the same so the main emphasis will be on english grammar it plays the most important role as most of the things in english you have already done before so it will be easier to get a grip along with grammar you need to also concentrate on paths like error finding techniques and analogies also okay so this is all about subject wise preparations in general now last thing uh, the final tips that i'd like to say uh, give you this every week uh, how you should go about with the preparation every week you need to give at least two test section wise okay make sure you appear for your sectional test you can choose any two sections later it will proceed in a cumulative way okay special consideration working of scientific calculators like uh, casio fx 82 ms or other tech instruments so make sure you are well adapt with the working and the proceedings of uh, a scientific calculator so make sure you know how all the functions works and how to use a scientific calculator so please uh, make sure you know all these things and work on the comprehensive approach of the entire examination throughout and practice on big analytics questions also so with that said uh, as only a few days are left i'd like to wish you guys all the very best for your examination and hopefully you follow the steps to ace your examination so if you need any help in this regards make sure you uh, connect with us we'll be more than happy to help you out so feel free to reach out to us uh, you can visit our website at www.sort of so classes.com you can mail us at sort of so classes at the rate uh, gmail.com or you can call text or whatsapp us on the numbers uh, 9836793076 or 9874822700 5, okay feel free to connect with us in case you have any doubt uh, with your preparation or examination in, the, in regards and we'll be more than happy to help you out so with all that being said i'd like to sign up thank you so much